guys, it's Jessica, and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul! Yay! I have not done one of these in a little bit. I say that every time, but it always feels like it's been a long time. I actually bought this stuff like a week or so ago, but then I was out of town for a bit. So, I'm actually excited. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Is that right? Seven items, and one of them is actually a hair item. So let's go ahead and get into it. Why don't we start with the hair item? Because it's so darn cute. This, I was gonna say, this was a dollar. Everything was a dollar. This is, I'm gonna open it, a little like elastic headband. And I just thought, oh my gosh, it's so cute just to wrap around your head and just have right there. Is that not adorable? Hold up. Ah, cute, right? I mean, it's one side's longer, so I think I need to put it like on the other side. But either way, I think that is so just fun, cute, and it was a dollar. So, next thing, okay. Most of the stuff I got was from Fergie, like the Fergie collection, if you will. And um, there was a ton, and I'm actually really excited to try a lot of this stuff. One of them, though, I'm realizing I was going through some old videos, and I was like, wait a minute, I've already reviewed that. The rest, though, I have not. So we'll start with the one I've already reviewed and I did not like, so I can tell you right away that I didn't like it. It's the Fergie Velvet Matte Lip Color, and this one is in the shade Pinky Candy. And what I didn't like about these is that they're just so, bleh. like they they were pretty pigmented, but they were so thin and it kind of felt like a crayon and it didn't really stay and it was a little bit splotchy. It's just kind of one of those things that it being in the Dollar Tree makes sense to me because I'm like, yeah, like they shouldn't sell well because I don't think they're very good. So that's that on these, but I did buy, this one I am really excited about, this Wet n Wild Shimmer Take On The Day Eyeshadow Primer. And it's called, it's in the shade A Little Party, and it's just kind of this glimmery primer type thing. What I like about this is if I know, like especially in the evening if I'm going out and I'm starting fresh, like my makeup, that'd be an awesome way to start any eye look so that there's some shimmer behind it. And I just think that's a cool idea. I have tried the regular Take On The Day primer that she has, and it was really, really good. And I honestly just love the packaging of this with like the rose gold and stuff. The next product I got is from Wet n Wild, and it's the Fergie Turn Up The Volume Full Blast Mascara. And it's in the shade Just Can't Get Enough, which is super black, apparently. And again, really cute packaging, this golden packaging. And the brush is kind of really, like it looks like it would be clump crushing, if you will, you know what I mean? Um, that it wouldn't allow for too many clumps, so I'll have to try this and see. But I will say, they really stepped up their game when it comes to packaging. I, I want to say they stepped up their game with formula, but honestly, a lot of Wet n Wild's formulas really are good. But I love the packaging of all the Fergie stuff. i got to stop talking about it, but I love it. So the next two items were also from Wet n Wild Fergie, and it's the On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencils. So I got the one in Midnight Girl, which is the black, and I also got one in the shade Violet Femme, which is the purple. And these seem nicely creamy. I want to see how well they stay throughout the day. So I'll have to test these out, especially like if you're using it in your waterline or if you're using just a tight line, does it actually stay put? Because with cheaper liners, some of them can be so ridiculously amazing, like the Jordana, um, Jordana like 24 hour, whatever it is, pencils. Those are incredible. They really do stay all day. So I, And they're also really, really cheap. So I'm wondering if these are gonna be similar to that where they actually stay in place. So I will have to get back to you on that. The last thing I bought is Nivea cream. Now, I wanna ask you guys, how do you use Nivea cream? I've heard a lot of people will use it just all over the place. I mean, you can just use it as a lotion on anything. I've heard some people use it just on their face. I've heard some people say they use it on their cuticles. I've heard people say they use it just like on their elbows and knees. I, I had a neighbor, well, my parents do, that I had been walking the pugs that they have. This was a couple years ago. And he told me that he put Nivea cream on his dog's paws to keep them soft. But I've also heard you shouldn't do that. And just thinking about our dog, Pinocchio, he would lick it off and I think that might make him sick. So I, I don't know that I'm gonna try that. But I'm just curious. I wanted to buy it because it's always been such a classic, like even my mom, my mom has always had Nivea cream around and she just randomly uses it for things. So I'm gonna talk to her, but I'm curious about what, what uses you use this for. So let me know down below. That was everything. I know that wasn't a very long one. If you're in the mood for Dollar Tree hauls, check out my Dollar Tree haul playlist. I've done quite a few and finding just tons of like expensive drugstore makeup at the Dollar Tree. I found a lot of physician's formula and those are like 
those can be like 10 to 15 dollars at the regular store and most of the stuff i found was still at the regular store so i was like what other than that i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye